Yo, what's up? Instead of showing you the preview in the beginning of the video, this is a really small clip that I'm showing you how to do. So I'm just going to show you. This is it. We're going to be working on the uh, the color flashing in this cinematic. You can kind of see the blood's changing. Things on the wall are just, everything's changing color. And uh, that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. What's good, guys? It's Joseph. Um... Today, we got another tutorial for you guys. Um, it's going to be a really, really quick one today. Um, the only reason I'm making it is because someone asked me to. They wanted to know what that little color flashing effect was on my cinematic um, in my Mr. Man edit. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video for y'all. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Got a uh, you know clip coming in. By the way, I had an editing stream last night. Um, if this video goes up today, it'll be last night. All right, that was nuts, man. Y'all killed it, man. Like, we had so much fun. All we did, basically, was just look at edits, you know, from back in the day. It was pretty nostalgic, man. It was fun. You should really come in if you ever see me live. Uh, Twitch is going to be in the description. It's unique. With two ends. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Got this clip. Going to make this comp really quick. Put the clip in here. And basically, what the effect was so let's go ahead and say I got my cinematic all good and ready to go let's say I'm ready to put the effect on man so I'm gonna put on I'm gonna type in HLS we're gonna use color balance HLS and now if you can go to the front you make a keyframe you go to the very end and then you put this at like one or two, depending on how fast you want it to be. This is going to go through the whole hue, like the whole color hue, depending on like how long the clip is. And that's really it. Like that, like that's it. I, I didn't even um, ease them. I bet you can even like ease these uh, frames here and you know, make it look a little cool. But I don't know. It's up to y'all, man. Like, you can do whatever you want. But that was really it. Like, that's all I did. And I could have just told you, but, you know, I wanted to make a video. So I could talk to you guys, man. And that's it. And you can even enhance this. Let's say you wanted to do, like, you say you just wanted to put, like, a glow on there. Like, you can do that, too. Put the radius up a little bit. And, and, and if I were to put a glow, let's say I'm keyframing the intensity, I'll put a keyframe down, I'll look at it, I'll move this over a little bit, I'll put this intensity down to zero, you want the glow to animate on, and then you want it to animate off, you know, you don't want it to just start, like, really, like, bright, you want it to animate on and then off, you know what I'm saying? And then you'll literally, you'll see, and if you're in the, um... If you're in the value graph, you can see you can edit these. You can make this like quickly go on or whatever, and you can make it stay a little bit, and then it'll just ease out, you know? And it'll literally just like, you know. But, it, and you can change the color, obviously. You can change this to like A and B colors. You can make this color like whatever color you want it to be. And same with this one, if you're interested in that kind of thing. And then you're starting to make a little more dynamic effect and you're only using like two plugins or like two presets, not pre presets, two plugins, whatever it is. You know, add some like, you know, shake or whatever if you want. I don't really know to do that cinematic. You can do some little pan and crop action, bro, but like editing is just like, you just got to like figure out what, you know, works with each thing, you know, you can even make this intensity go like, you can make it go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like. You can do like a whole, and that, that looks even different than what I originally started. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just so much in terms of like color that you can do. Um, and there'll be more future tutorials coming up on that. But, you know, this is just a really quick one. I basically made this because I wanted to thank you guys so much for coming to that stream last night. Man, I was crazy. Like, we had a good time. Um, man, I'm going to be doing that a lot more often, man. That was really fun. But, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying your editing. Um, I'm starting to love it. I'm getting back into it. I'm starting to feel that fire that I felt back in the day, man. 
But uh, other than that, bros, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.